your energy is the best strategy you can ever follow when it comes to growing your spiritual business. Now, I have absolutely nothing against strategy, but I do have an issue with people overthinking the strategy or all of these people out there sharing these cookie cutter approaches to growing your business when you are a spiritual entrepreneur. That means we do stuff differently. You know what I'm saying? We listen to our intuition. We follow what where spirit is guiding us. We channel our amazing programs and content, and we're very creative. We're not meant to put ourselves in a little bitch ass box. So strategy is important, but intentional strategy, and that's just 20% of the equation. Your energy though is 80% of your, the equation. How you feel about yourself, about your work, about your clients, about your offers, about the amazing things that you're sharing in the world, that matters more because that's what's behind the actions, the strategy, the things that you're actually doing. Now, I used to get really hung up on the strategy when I first started back in the day. I used to think that there was this secret strategy that I just didn't know about, that all these other people knew about. I wanted to know exactly what they were doing to get XYZ results. And I found myself constantly feeling like I was looking for something outside of myself, feeling like I was doing something wrong, getting into a state of overwhelm or feeling frustrated or doing things that other people were saying to do, but that didn't feel like they were in full alignment for me. So when I share things and guide people through the strategy piece, it's always bringing it back to alignment with who they are and how they authentically desire to express themselves and share their work. So yes, that's important, but the energy behind what you're doing is way more important. When I started doubling down on my inner world, on my vibrational frequency, on doing things outside of my business that elevated my vibe, that tapped me into an energy of fun and creativity things started flowing in ways that I couldn't even logically explain. It doesn't mean I wasn't taking actions and finding strategies that felt good for me, but there were a lot of things that happened that you can't logically explain. I have people sometimes that literally find me on one platform, binge some of my stuff and sign up to work with me. But my point being is that Things can happen, money can come, clients can flow in ways that don't make logical sense, in ways that you that you can't be like, oh, I'm doing this thing and it's getting this result. However, there are core foundational intentional strategies that compound and lead to that. And one of those is showing up consistently with your message and showing up in different ways. I love to do videos. I love to do podcasts. I love to you know, write and I spread that out in different ways. And I view my expression of my message and work as an artistic expression. It's an art form for me. So I love doing it and I have a unique perspective on it that I love sharing with other people and supporting them with finding what that feels like for themselves so that they can authentically express and show up in a powerful energy that is magnetic. Because when we are in our power, and our dominant vibrational frequency is that of one of being empowered and anchored in who we are, we send out a different signal to the, the universe, to the people out there, and we become magnetic to people who are resonant with our message and our energy. We become magnetic to opportunities, collaborations, unexpected abundance, and so on. But it's all an energy game. Everything's an energy game. Everything is energy. So I want to share some quick, easy little things that you can do to amp up your energetic frequency and the way that you feel when you're sharing your message, when you're showing up with your work, with your offers, how you're talking about them all and so on. And the first thing is to have more fun. Ding, ding, ding. It's so easy, yet so many people put this on the back burner. They get into hustle mode, doing mode, you know, trying to make things happen, and they forget to have fun. One of my favorite mantras and stories to live by is the more fun I have, the more abundance I attract. 
have more fun in your day-to-day life. This can be something as simple as putting on your favorite song and dancing in front of the mirror. It doesn't need to take all day. It doesn't need to be an elaborate thing, but how can you tap into the energy of fun more often? That energy is going to pour out into all other areas of your life. And consider how you can have more fun with your business, with how you're showing up. What does that look like? If you've been feeling frustrated, getting hung up on what strategy to to do or how to show up, ask yourself, if this were super fun and super easy, what would that look like? And notice what comes up for you. Or maybe you experiment in different ways and that's how you find out what is more fun and enjoyable for you. Make fun your priority. It is going to pour into your business. It's going to attract more abundance and you'll feel a whole lot more fulfilled. The second way that you can make energy part of your main strategy is to do energetic alchemy. And this is a process of releasing and moving dense energy from your body. There are a lot of energetic alchemy practices that I teach, that I share inside of my membership, the Vibe Club, but essentially it is tuning into your body and moving the energy. You can do this through dance. You can do this through shaking. You can do this through EFT tapping. You can do this through closing your eyes and tuning into where maybe that energetic buildup is and move it out with your breath, with visualization. There are a lot of energetic alchemy techniques, but this is going to help you move your energy. The best way to move your energy is to freaking move. It's going to help things not be so stagnant. There have been times where I have been in my head and started spiraling into all these disempowering thoughts and fears and all this stuff. And I realized in those moments that I didn't move much that day. So what did I do? I got my booty up. I moved. I shaked it out. I danced it out. And I felt so much better. A regular practice of energetic alchemy is going to help you come from a clean and grounded energy when you show up with your work, when you show up with your message. And it'll also support you with regulating your nervous system. The third thing is celebrate. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate how far you've come. Celebrate all of the wins that you've experienced on your journey. Celebrate all of the challenges that you've overcome that have supported you with acquiring so much wisdom. Celebrate the wins of your clients. Celebrate what's on the way. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Do this for yourself. Do this for yourself. Do this with loved ones so that you can amplify the energy that you're feeling within because as within, so without. And the more we celebrate ourselves, the more we empower ourselves, and the more we acknowledge how far we've come and all of the amazing things that are going on in your life and in your business. And if you don't feel like you have something massive to celebrate, I guarantee you, you can find something. I think that we should celebrate our big celebrations and the seemingly small things that actually really impact the big quantum leaps. So celebrate and consider or ask yourself, what is something that I can celebrate right now that I'm super proud of myself about? It could be even, I'm so proud of how I handled that situation where in the past it would have triggered the shit out of me. That's an example of like a smaller celebration, but do this more often. It's going to amplify your energy and support you in a multitude of ways with your business as well. And last but not least, be your authentic self. Push your expression edges. Share vulnerably. Share your stories. Share your hot takes. Share your beliefs. Let people in to see you. Nothing is more magnetic than who you truly are outside of the distortions, outside of the programming, outside of what's happened in the past. You, your natural essence is so magnetic. I have so many people come to me and tell me that they started following me or they love my stuff because of my authenticity, because of the way that I show up as my real self. And it took me a long time to be comfortable doing that. And even still, I push my expression edges because you want to know what else? Nothing feels more freeing than being your true authentic self. So many times, People start their business, they start putting themselves out there, they get hung up on all the things that they think they need to do, the strategy, the this, the that, and it actually waters down their message, it waters down their authentic expression, and 
people don't resonate as powerfully as they can when you are just unfiltered as your authentic self, sharing from your heart, sharing your stories, being who you truly are. That will attract your people more than anything. So these things are part of the energetic strategy that will support you in calling in your people, attracting more clients, attracting more abundance, and you can fill in the blanks with intentional strategy. And I'll make a whole separate video podcast about that as well, but that's the easy part. When I started showing up online and growing my spiritual business, my spiritual boss babe brand, I didn't know how I was going to grow it. I didn't know all the answers. I didn't even know what it was all going to look like. What I did know was that I had a message to share. I was going to share it with whoever would listen. And I had to get over the fears that were popping up along the way. And as I did that, I started getting more intentionally strategic. I started learning what felt good for me and I started learning what worked and what didn't or what frustrated me. And I stopped doing that stuff and I kept doing things that I love. And I, again, still do this and refine all of this today. I actually think it's really, really fun because your business gets to feel really fucking good for you. And it gets to feel really natural. It should feel really fun for you to share your work, to share your offers, to show up authentically, to connect, to build relationships, to expand your impact in a way that feels so fulfilling on a soul level. And you don't have to sell your soul to do it by following cookie cutter strategies or tactics that don't fully feel good for you. So it's very much an energetic game. Also your mindset, how you feel, how you, what you believe about yourself and your work and your embodiment showing up as that version of you, as you do the intentional things that are going to lead to the results and build massive momentum in your business. If you want more support with this, read the show notes. I have a couple things in store for you that will support you with getting your message out in a much bigger way and alchemizing your energy so that you could show up as your most empowered self. I hope this was super helpful for you. I love you so much and I will see you soon.